Damsel has her sidekick, Belle has Lumiere, Anna has Olaf, and I have Rick. <laughs> met doing our acts on a big gay cruise. <laughs> the getting paid not laid tour. <laughs> I speak for myself. <laughs> <sighs> no, it really was a great gig. Wasn't it? It's wonderful. I mean, what could be bad about being on a ship filled with 2,000 gorgeous guys who bought their bathing suits in the children's department? <laughs> Felt like a diabetic in an M&M's factory. <laughs> Look, but don't touch. <laughs> but as much as I loved that, I prefer to be on dry land. Headlining at the Epcot World Showplace Pavilion. <laughs> I mean, this is it. This is the pinnacle of my career right here. <laughs> Isn't Epcot the best? <laughs> It's so great, it's this fabulous, bustling world, so much to do and see. It kind of reminds me of New York. All it's missing is the smell of hot garbage in the morning. Um, when, I first, when I first moved to New York, right out of college, Marsha, where is she, where's my mother? The real star in our family. Marsha was terrified. She told me it was a pit of violence, murder, and chlamydia. <laughs> Who knew she'd be right? <laughs> As I boarded the plane for New York, this is a true story, she screamed down the jetway, just remember, if it's wet and sticky and not your own, leave it alone. <laughs> Mother knows best, listen to your mother, it's a scary world out there. Mother knows best, one way or another, something will go wrong, I swear. Ruffians, thugs, poison ivy, quicksand, cannibal snakes, the plague. Also large bugs, men with pointy teeth, and stop no more, you'll just upset me. Mother's right here, mother will protect you. Darling, here's what I suggest. Skip the drama, stay with mama. Mother knows best. Go ahead, get hit on by a wino. Go ahead, get mugged and left for dead. Me, I'm just your mother, what do I know? and changed and nursed you. <laughs> Go ahead and leave me, I deserve it. Let me die alone here, be my best. When it's too late, you'll see, just wait. Mother knows best. Oh, Lindsay, your father and I have total faith in you. But for now, we'll leave your room exactly as it is. <laughs> Don't forget it, you'll regret it. Mother knows best. One of my very, oh, stop. One of my very first jobs in New York, my very first job in New York, was a Broadway show called Hollywood Arms. It was written by Carol Burnett, directed by Hal Prince and starring Linda Lavin. It was gonna run for years. Three months later, I had the best waitressing job in New York. <laughs> now, uh, aside from making tableside beef tartare and de-shelling steaming lobsters with my bare hands, My fondest waitressing memory was the night my fellow Musketeer Justin Timberlake, came into the restaurant for dinner. <laughs> I never thought when we were finally reunited I'd be wearing suspenders and an apron 
and saying, I'm Lindsay and I'll be taking care of you this evening. <laughs> he was so nice. He was Justin. He invited me to sit down. He asked how I'd been, what I'd been working on. He even about asked about my family. And then he whispered in my ear words I will never forget. Do you think we could get some more cream spinach? <laughs> I mean, in his defense, the cream spinach was really nice. It, it had a touch of nutmeg. But this was not part of the plan. In all of my show business fantasies, and there have been many, that wasn't one of them. <laughs> Such a scenario I never could have imagined when I was that fearless kid on the first season of the Mickey Mouse Club. It's all so simple. Relax, let go, let fly. So someone tell me, why can't I? Whistle for me. 